U.S. cargo ship Cape Ray is preparing to leave this dock soon, and crews have been working around the clock to get the vessel ready for the job. Frank Kendall is a senior Pentagon official who explained what the machines on this ship will do once several hundred tons of Syrian chemical weapons arrive on board. What we'll do is convert materials that are chemical weapons themselves or precursors for chemical weapons. We'll change them chemically into, into compounds that are no longer usable for that. It will happen on the ship's cargo area inside this tent. This will be the most, most potentially contaminated area. This is the, the hottest area for us. Those who will operate the system say the process is safe and they will see to it that no toxic waste ends up in the sea. The technology is not new. The U.S. has used it to destroy America's own chemical weapons. But this is the first time it will be done at sea. Daryl Kimball, head of the Arms Control Association Research Group, believes it is the best option. So the technology is well proven. Um, it is uh, a process that doesn't involve the possibility of explosives, of any burning. Um, and so, uh, you know, this is a relatively safe process. Test runs have already begun, and the ship is now awaiting orders to head for the Mediterranean. Technicians plan to neutralize about 700 tons of Syrian chemicals in a span of 45 days. It's a big job, and delays are likely. Crews are loading extra supplies in anticipation the work will take longer than scheduled. Luis Ramirez, VOA News, Portsmouth, Virginia.